Hi, it's Sassy Scarborough and it is still Hair Fair 2021 and I am up to the brunette region. Very excited to share some more hairstyles and hair accessories with you. Uh, the first store on the brunette region is Tameless. Now with Tameless I got some naturals packs. This is Lark and I love the featheriness of this style. It's just a really cool you know concave cut uh, it really sort of suits my look my very dynasty sort of <laughs> top which is very roan and uh, it's actually quite old but it's standard sizing so bakes on mesh with my alphas made it possible thank you very much <laughs> I'm very happy okay so that is Lark by Tameless and it's just a really really nice style then we've got some what have we got here this is the Marigold now there's all sorts of uh, hair bases and add-ons and all sorts of things going on inclusive but this is a really really nice uh, style with the division I like that it's sort of like just sort of off center parting comes forward of the shoulders it's really nice there's a large breasts option as well and then you've got roots and colors you know I'm going with my gray scale as usual this is a naturals pack though so it's got some reds and it's got some brunettes and blondes and gray <laughs> I'm gonna mention this sorry <laughs> um, every year for some reason there's always one or two people that think that the stores on the regions have to have the color of the hair that they're on the regions of that's not the case it was just we didn't know what to call the regions so we just went with the whole blonde brunette noirette and redhead and then streaks and foils just became an offshoot of that so it doesn't mean that if you land on blonde that you're only going to find blonde hairstyles or redhead or brunette or noirette so <laughs> let's just stop that in the tracks and of course it's going to come up next year as well but it always makes me giggle because I just I I don't know what they think we're they gonna do with the other colors I just no it's not what happens <laughs> okay so this is a silver by shameless and again it has the options hair bases I got the naturals packs as I said and I really 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 like this style it's so full looks great on the shoulders uh, nice on the side parted down center gives good gives good shoulder with this style of top too which I really like and it's got all the colors and oh the roots as I said I forgot to show some roots so there we go there's the roots but that is tameless they're the first booth on the brunette sim and now we have exile this is Brie so pretty so so pretty it's a half uppy do I just love it I love that it's hair itself that's actually tying tying the hair I do that quite often because I I don't know where the six hundred and fifty eight million four hundred and thirty seven thousand three hundred and ninety nine elastic bands or hair elastics that I've purchased in my life have actually gone to um, I think that they turn into pens and then they go missing and turn into white coat hangers but you know this the circle of life <laughs> then you've got the master HUD now exile for the last couple of years is doing everything in all colors so there's no thinking involved in oh my goodness is this pack gonna make me blonde or brunette or which is gonna be the one I prefer you can do it all so you've got all these different colors here you can click for more colors you've got different roots or fades You've got some uh, like big strong bold colors look at that it's like a dive into a bottle of Fanta which I would do I'm not gonna lie if there was a bottle big enough for me to dive into it I'd be all up in that <laughs> I love Fanta here's a very interesting fact do you know that in Australia we only had orange Fanta until well up until I don't know the 2000 and somethings there are a lot of us running around that thought Fanta was only in orange.
there you go. You learnt something today from Sassy Scarborough. <laughs> so that's the Brie. And then you've got the ability to make it glow. Uh, you've got Fulbright materials. You can save some tints. And you've got forward of shoulders, behind shoulders, and the right and the left. And that is Brie. And she is by Exile. And she is beautiful. And now we've got Chelsea. Chelsea is just a stunner so let's go all the way around this beautiful sort of braid along the top here along the the forehead um, hairline is just stunning I love it love it a lot and again you've got all the colors and let's go to straight to the style so you've got with the tendrils without the tendrils and then a mirrored version which is just great because who can decide one day on the next left or right but it also gives you an option if you've got something with detailing on your shoulder you can choose the different different version and that is Chelsea by Exile then we have Svetlana this hair is just gorgeous look at this it's just everything so again suits the outfit and the style options, you've got uh, full of tendrils down the side. I love that. You've got this sort of like, whew, what happened? Look, then you've got the regular tendrils and more bangs. That's just so much, so much beauty in one package. Look at it. It's just divine. I love it. And see this being the go-to style for a lot of lovely young exile fans that's it Svetlana and this is Vix this was the actual gift style but she's so fluffy and she's so beautiful let me move this and we'll have a look so this is the side again concave shorter at the back it's just charming uh, I love the two tone, but one color looks beautiful as well. Oh, look at that! Oh, I love that. It's so pink blonde, strawberry blonde, I guess. It's beautiful. Oh, and there as well. Look at those highlights. That's just gorgeous. And this is a gift. Amazing. So beautiful. Thank you so much, Kavar. And it can be pink. You can do all sorts of things with it. Yay. And then you can save them. You can also kill the scripts. And you can do the glow. And then you can do the materials on and off. On and off for Fulbright. So much. So much beauty. That's Fix. And those stars were from Exile at Hair Fair on the Brunette region. Okay, so now we're at the Unorthodox booth. Now, I wanted to tell you, I was so excited when I saw this hairstyle by, by Unorthodox called Nisfro. Uh, Nisfro, I'm not sure how it's meant to be pronounced. But just for some historical sort of thing about this hair. Well, this, not this hair, this type of hair. In 2008, Betty Page Voyager created a hairstyle called Big Bomb Hair. And this is the hair. I grabbed it from my, my inventory so I could show you. I was obsessed with this hair. Because at the time, there was nothing out there like it. It was just gorgeous. And it's been on my blog before when we did the bloom doll thing. It was, you know, I made it bigger and, and wore it. And I just loved it. So... So when I saw this hairstyle, it just made me think of that straight away. And one of the things that I really sort of like love hate about Second Life is that we call it hair, but I wish we called them wigs. Sometimes I do call them wigs and sometimes people call them wigs. But I mean, in the sense that in the true essence of Second Life, our hair is that stuff we hide inside our head with the alpha. <laughs> <laughs> because system hair is just horrifying but but what I'm trying to say is that I love the idea that we are wearing these styles in every single color in every single type because they're wigs we're not trying to say that I suddenly have pink hair and then 45 minutes later when I'm somewhere else that my hair is green and that 
that's real because it's not <laughs> the world's a virtual world so when I saw this hair I was like wig oh my god studio 54 eccentric crazy crazy big bomb hair hair so I got excited and rightly so because this hair is incredible so for fun because I want to play around with colors first of all I'm going to put on the blonde now this is blonde which is amazing and I love this over one eye thing what cracked me up though too <laughs> is Tonio <laughs> included this geometric earring just to look super fabulous except it's nowhere near the ear <laughs> it's just angled to just be fantastic and it's just wonderful it was just a wonderful addition he just went you know I'm going to include that and he did so this is the the different views of the hair and this is the fro version one and then we have the fro version two which doesn't cover the eye I can't I love them both they're so beautiful let's just throw on the on the black as well because you know I I generally speaking wear black hair most of the time gorgeous just gorgeous but let's go back to the blonde for a minute because again wigs okay alias the tv show i don't know if you watched it i watched it i loved it and this is she could wear wigs she got to go to all these places and put on a wig and her hair was hot pink and like in a little bob or she could do something crazy with it and just the idea that you could just go out dancing and be your best self in this hair just made me I look like a Christmas tree at the moment <laughs> but it just made me so happy about how gorgeous this is and how well it tints it just looks stunning you know I could just rock this out with my red pants my wide-legged pants see look look how fabulous they are by Coco and my top by Roan and I would be heaven <laughs> and you go a little bit lighter if you want or a little bit darker again brighter mix it up it is just such a fantastic style and if you did not pick this hair up you definitely should and you should definitely read the message in the booth because that was just fabulous as well this is the nice fro the male version is wonderful as well he even has for sale eyebrows and a goatee that matches I love it it's wild and it's so much fun and definitely definitely a must have it's so fluffy <laughs> love it now vanity hair at uh, has the satin nights pack now I put on one of their hair bases I've left these on so the HUDs kick in I'm in the unavailable mode so it doesn't it takes a little bit extra for the HUDs to kick in for me so I'm going to put on the Satin Nights rigged version. There is also a resized version and the mask. There's two options. You've got one that covers the eyes and then you've got one that perches up over the head. I'll leave both of them on because you get the idea. But this is just so creative, so fun. You've got the ability to change the hair color. I got the blacks packs. And then you've got the satin can change for you. It's just oh so cute. You can see this very, being very, very popular. A definite must-have. I love this Tiffany blue. So that's the Satin Nights. There's hair bases included in a plier form and in a, a tattoo bakes on mesh layer form. And the rigged version again. It's a great roller style. I really, really like this a lot. And you've got a little, uh, for tinting, you've got the, sorry, you've got the hair colors here. And then you can go to more options. And then you've got the ability to tint the hair or tint the streaks or you can tint the accessory, whichever one you want. So I can have the accessories be pink and my hair be blue. It's so, so cute. Uh, you can go back to a white color. Or gray because of the, the base color. 
and it's just so much fun but I really really love that the rollers can just be independently colored because you know then if you've got all the girls over and you're all doing something different you can all have different rollers in your hair and that's believable and I just really really like it it's very cool it looks great and uh and then it gives us even more reason to change into those beautiful long waves of hair styles that Vanity Hair also creates at her store. But these are her hair fair hairs and they're just marvellous. So that was Roller Coaster. I love the name too. So fun. Now speaking of fun, she, Shy, she, um, has joined us as a hair accessories creator this time around. They have done hair in the past and bits and pieces of different things over the years and this these harnesses are just oh, everything look at this kitty harness that's the metallic I'll just show you these are just next level stunning they look gorgeous and I can play around and try and find hair that's going to work with them I'm not going to do that I'm just going to show them in in their own right it fits really well there's going to be styles that you like um, over others I got the all pack because woof, how could I not want all of these so the all pack includes the metallic the black uh, paint and black the paint and red which is just gorgeous and then patent white these are amazing and look at the it's just so realistic looking and then you've got the sozo harness which comes with two versions you've got version one which is like this and again it's just incredible work so gorgeous let's get zoom in a little bit closer that's all safety pins like rusted old safety pins amazing so amazing and then I got all in that as well but as you can see and I honestly again I'm so torn version 2 is just one swoop and I think that that is so hot and depending on the hair you're going to wear it with that could just just totally rock it if the hair comes down on one side and is scooped back on the other side this is going to be amazing so that's the sozo harness that's the black then you've got the metallic, which is awesome. That sort of hologramic sort of look. Then you've got the red and the white. I love these. These are by Shy, and they are just amazing. You have to get, even if you have no idea why or when you need this because there will come a time <laughs> in your second life where you will go oh my god this is the perfect opportunity to wear my harness I'm telling you it's true so then by Nafi we've got the Safira hair they're also on the brunette region so this is Safira and this is two parters <laughs> I love these bangs because they look perfectly like I'm chewing on my hair, which uh, is fun. Now, just for a little trial, I did do this before, but it's this is so cute. Look at that. So a style like this could just be the perfect style for one of the harnesses. But back to Nafi. Safira bangs, you can wear them or not wear them. The hair is very soft looking. It's a really cute cut. I'm gonna actually have to wear a hair alpha with that one, but that's fine too. And then this is the gray scale uh, option, which again suits my outfit today. Very, very beautiful. Taking that off. And then we move to Ursk. Ursk? Ursh. I feel really bad that I don't know the names of these stores, but as we don't talk in voice um, a lot of the time with designers, you don't get a feel of what it what it's called. It should be like the dictionary where they do that thing where they describe exactly what it's supposed to sound like. This is the foamy headband. Now, it's stunning, so delicate, so beautiful. 
and look at all these options. My goodness, I was blown away by how many of them there are. It's just amazing. Look at this. This is going to go with every outfit you ever imagined and more. So delightful. Really adorable. And it's just a really good sort of uh, style to it that even if in certain places it will stick into hairstyles that you might have, it won't matter because there's enough height in the pearls for that to be completely acceptable. And I love it's called foamy. It's just so cute. Now, this is another uh, hair accessory. These are called line rose pins. And these are just like to randomly stick in your hair. And I love them. And they look like they've been created with uh, puff paint, which I find just amazing. I don't think I've ever really seen that done in SL before where it just comes out and it's mesh. This is actual mesh. This is not like a texture. This is created as mesh. And it looks like puff paint. I want everything made like this. And then your hard. And it's just, oh, that's so pretty. I like that. It's like an apricot color. It's just beautiful. And they're the line rose pins. And then you've got the rose garden headband. Which is similarly stunning. Beautiful line work there. Looking like puff paint. Never knew I needed that until I saw it done by Irish. <laughs> and it's, oh, it's just gorgeous. Look at that. Stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. And they're also on the brunette region. Our next store is Molokino. Molokino has the Dixon hair, which is a fantastic updo bun bun style. I really, really like this one. I really like them all. I keep saying I really, really like this one. As I've said before, everything that I bought at Hair Fair is the stuff that I want to wear myself. So, of course, I really, really, really like this one. <laughs> so, it is just a fun uh, bun bun style. I really like the color options. Look at this. This is the variety pack that I grabbed this in. And it went a little bit above and beyond, I think, because I couldn't have imagined all of these colors. Um, I just take for granted that there's going to be a black in there and <laughs> then I'm set. But these colors are just beautiful. I love these really sort of like pastel colors. Um, I'll be rocking this one out. I love it. I actually can't help myself. I have to look. So there's two things I want to check. First of all, <laughs> I want to check the harness. Oh my gosh, the bangs went there. That would be so cute. And maybe the kitty. Oh. Oh, kitty but it doesn't really work with the bun buns but the other thing I wanted to try try was the hair sticks the line rose pins see how they look in there oh it's so cute it doesn't it's not it's, I'll make things work if I wanna the headband that works that's adorable so I can pull that down that way and bring it forward a little bit probably and just make that work how I want it to. So that's just fun I'm going to have in the future. That is, <laughs> is the way we'll look at that. And that is the Molokino uh, from Molokino. And they're uh, on the brunette sim of Hair Fair 2021. And lastly, we have Dela. And this is the Riley hair. Now... I did buy both hairstyles, the Riley and the Raylan. And with me, this is my head, uh, the hair base that's built in doesn't exactly work there for me. I didn't notice when I was purchasing it. And I don't really care. I'll probably wear a different hair base with it and hopefully one will overpower the other one. Uh, but it's a good reason to have those hair bases that are built in hide and show because not all heads have the right forehead angle and, and that sort of stuff. So that one at the moment is I'll have to muck around with my head or change heads or something there. But this is Riley and Riley didn't have any problems in that area. Except my HUD's gone off screen. 
So we've got uh, another off-center part, which I really liked. You've got the difference and the behind the shoulders. That's all great. I got the black and white pack, so I've got some grayscale. Oh, look at that. I love that too. Let's have a look at these ones. Beautiful. Let's have a look at the back. That's awesome. I really, really like that. Giving me kind of a Billie Eilish vibe. <laughs> so that's amazing. Oh, I love that too. Love, 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 love this grey. Oh, so good. So, so good. So that is the last of that. That is the brunette region at Hair Fair 2021. I hope you like the items that I purchased there. There is also a mail stall uh, there, Vladdy. I feel really guilty about that, <laughs> but it's not what I could wear or, you know, so just just know there are male hair stores all over hair fair and uh, check them out. Drag your partner. Do what you need to do. <laughs> Thanks, everybody.